Here we go, everybody. Welcome. I'll move the. Uh, here we go. That's better, I guess, for now, so everybody can watch it a little bit better. This is uh, Kaipia against uh, Kritania Kamanda. And, uh, well, I am not gonna lie here. This is for the Shanghai Major Open Qualifiers, but this Kaipia should probably stump this team. I checked it out a little bit before. It's like 600 hours players, 1200, 12,000. Yeah, 1200, yeah. So I'm a little bit scared for them. They all, in the lobby, they were already like, Oh my god, we're playing against you guys. Oh, it's so fun. We're gonna lose so fast and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, uh, with that in mind... Um, yeah, we're probably gonna, we're gonna see some mm, fast pick and bans here. We can't really talk too much about it. Like, There's not a lot to say about it. Really, just the individual skill will make the big difference here. In the end. I'll turn off some of the stuff here on the uh, on the side, and uh, yeah, this should be good. I hope everything is uh, good for everybody here as well. I hope you all had a great day. We've been covering a lot of Dota lately. But, uh, for the people that are in here in the in the lobby, I'm Sender. I'm from Swiss to see in the score, and that's the Twitch channel. Just go there as well. You can watch it from there. I'll be guessing from uh, some of the lobbies, and um, well, today is going to be the first one. And well, with that. Uh, with having that said, I hope that we just have some great games to be quite honest and maybe we see some fun. Morphling has really been, at least from what I've heard from others, is apparently a really strong pick on the higher MMR uh, boards and uh, Lizard from my incentive said to me, yeah, he's a little bit overpowered at the moment. So, I honestly don't know. I haven't played Morphling yet, this patch, and it's a hero that does require some kind of uh, team coordination as in where to go how to do it and stuff like that uh, it's a split push oriented high skill cap hero so we just see a part of the moment Kai be there their lanes are pretty damn strong here having Bay Morphling just this lane can already just completely destroy your waveform it's a pretty high high damage nuke to get, uh, just combo that up with brain sap it's almost an instant death Good thing is that uh, for here, for the other team here on the Radiant, on the Dire side, is that they do have the uh, Spear Breaker offlane, so he's at least a bit of a tanky hero. Maybe get an early gauntlet of strength just to up his strength a little bit more there. This is one of those games where as a Spear Breaker you kind of need to get a Stout Shield plus probably a uh, Magic Stick first just to soak up it all up here. Guess in the mid lane, yeah, they put a Luna, yeah, they're really heavy into kind of the pushing line of here. Luna is pretty damn weak here. I'm kind of wondering why they picked it up. He is easily controlled by these heroes, as well as the magic burst will just burst him down for the first 20 to 25 minutes. Unless he rushes like BKB instantly, and if he does that, that also drops him because you don't have any damage coming out from her then, apart from magical. And you kind of want to have her skill into physical as well, going for this early BKB. Will mean that you're not really able to do that too much. It will hinder your progress really, really hard. So, yeah. Having that said, hmm. What else can they do here? Yeah. For the mid lane, yeah, you need something that's able to withstand against the Zeus. Let's see, Wind Ranger still in there. Could work with the push as well, not the best, but it could work. Maybe go for a draw, but draw got pretty crushed by Zeus. It's not really what you want, so. Hmm. Not a whole lot of options to be quite honest here. Uh, yeah, what will they do? What would be the best? That's the question, essentially. At least they have a lot of time, really, the pick event phase runs really, really fast here. I kind of like that though. Makes my life uh, all easy. <laughs> but yeah, realistically speaking, they should probably be looking at maybe something that can tank it up a little bit more as well as an extra cap close. So just having the initiation of Spirit Break is probably not enough. Swipe Silence. will most likely be used defensively and actually go for Silence here. They have a lot of spammable things from Kaipi, so that's not too bad for that, but still. In mid, I'm not really sure how it will go up against them. That's, that would surprise me a bit. If it will work, that is. So yeah, hmm. 
Yeah, realistically speaking, this should probably be Kaipi winning. Picking up some of their comfort heroes. Didn't pick up the Omni here, which surprises me a bit. Oh, they actually bend it out. Okay. I guess someone has been watching the matches here. <laughs> Taking out the Omni from Kaipi has been something that they did yesterday as well. So, that one doesn't surprise me too much. That it was taken out. It's just one of their comfort heroes, essentially. Taking it out is not too bad, and... Yeah. Maybe these cats can do something. A little bit of a lag, and... Now it's all good. Pre-game Gitters coming out of... Uh, Dota, like always. It's gonna get ready as well, you know? Gotta get it all set up. Let's take a quick look. I wanna add one of my console codes just to make my life a bit easier, so... Sorry that I'm not paying too much attention at the moment. It's uh, gonna be Kaipi against... I, I really can't pronounce that Russian name from the team. So, I'm just gonna call them uh, Dyer or Russian team, one of those two. Anybody has a problem with that, feel free to say it. Probably will completely ignore you anyway. But still, feel free to, to try it and see what happens. <laughs> So here we go, console code is set and uh, I'm all ready for this one. Let's just introduce Skype real fast here with Bone7 playing the Morphling. We have Bane being played by Buffney, Cancel is going to be playing the mid Zeus here. Fucking Man is going to be on the tree end protector. Kiano is going to be playing the Darks here and for the Russian team side we have Koma White playing the Vengeful Spirit. Luna playing Luna, Slony is going to be the Spirit Breaker, Sheena, Mashiro is the Silencer and which doctor is which doctor? Shina Mashiro. I think it's from one of the animes. Hmm. I thought I knew it. Never mind. Doesn't matter too much, anyway. And, well, this is a KP against uh, the Russian team. I think this is like round number three, so. KP. Yeah, this is actually round number three, yes. I'm, I'm actually correct on that one. And, yeah. It got very far, the Russian team, but it most likely will be uh, ending here. This good starting build here from uh, from Sheena. Has uh, seen that he's against the Zeus. Has picked up the uh, magic stick here. Can't surprise me that Zeus uh, opted to not go for it. Does have more than enough money, but uh, I guess we'll only go for the early bottle here. It's actually an aggressive trial lane here coming out from them. I want to put some early pressure on them. Though killing of Bone 7 once you get level 2 is already becoming uh, extremely difficult. They need to put on pressure from the beginning on. Which they are doing so. Buffney though will make it a little bit harder for them at the same time. Treant is already looking at stacking uh, the jungle here. Or the uh, new camp. Oh shit, Moobot is still on. That's not what we want. We'll just watch you the bottom lane. And uh, I'll just quickly go into my move, but I wasn't. I uh, uh, thought I got the score command out. Apparently, it's still on from the SCA final. Uh, let's see real fast. Comments. Score ticket. Here we go. Okay, I'm sorry about that. With that, we're gonna be uh, completely focused on the game right now. Full serious mode, of course, and uh, we'll see how it all goes here. This is, of course, going to be a pretty interesting game here. I'm just wondering when the first boss is going to be following a cancel. It really still surprised me. He should probably go back for his next item, but he's going to kill Silence here. Really nice play here. Even having the living armor coming out from the 3 and there to just make him secure. Having enough of that uh, juicy, juicy HP to stay alive. Even gets a rune spawn here as well. Gets even a nice arcana. Should be pretty damn happy about that one. Love them out a lot. That's it. The lineup here is from, uh, from Dice is actually pretty nice. Yeah. At least with their auras. It can do so much damage. If Silencer somehow just can keep this minimized to like one or two deaths. Maybe get a couple kills himself. They can actually do so much damage if they get online. Uh, Buffney just casually strolling through. Just trying to get low and then brainstorm someone to get his HP back. It's just a little bit of a cheeky, annoying play. She's actually been able to put Zeus all the way back to base here. 
Meaning that you can just get back uh, up to the same level as him. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty big. Shouldn't be too far off here. Just 200 uh, experience right now. It's not the biggest of thing. Oh, now he's taking a lot of damage. Cancel comes back and says like, eh. Yeah, I'm back. You're gonna take some damage. You're not gonna like it. And... That's just gonna be the name of the game here. As here on bottom, Luna is taking a lot of damage. You need a little bit more. They're not able to put into it. They will stay alive here. Just barely escaping with the nick of the skin here. Same time, Zeus has been able to kill up Silencer there. That was just a matter of time. Reason to go back to base is just to just get everything back up and then go for another kill. Really, anything else is not really. <laughs> There's no other reason for him to to go back otherwise. So. Okay. I'll settle like down a bit more here. And that one really good to go to analytical here. It's it's. There's not really a whole lot to go in the call about, to be quite honest. The skill gap should be more than big enough for Kaipi to win this, even if they get in five supports, so... You can already see it up in the CS there. Top three is from uh, from Kaipi. Of course, partially has to do with the fact that they're running an Echo Twilight here on the Dyer side. It's... They just... Yeah. It tends to hurt your CS by... Big amount, and you tend you do this. If you do this, and you're not successful, like at four minutes in now, you'd have a level disadvantage here. I think they do actually. Yeah, they have a level disadvantage as well. So they should probably just give up on this right now. I try to do something about Kia here because he's getting way too much spear break. He's gonna get level five now, putting in a nice amount of damage on Kia here. But there just comes out the wall. He just says they're like, yeah, you just try and come here then. With that, it would just completely stop him already from going after him. It's just not worth it at all. Whoop. Yeah. This Luna has been hurt way too much. Maybe go Morbid Mask and then just go into the jungle ASAP and just try to farm it up there. It's not going to get anything in the lane here. Cancel has also been doing way too good. Tunnicle's Wrath is now also online, so... This is a pretty terrible build coming out from the Silencer. Like, I can understand that you put points in Arcane Curse, but... Skipping less worth for putting two points in Glaives of Wisdom, that's not worth it. That's not that's not gonna work out. Need to silence. Slony, he does have another strike, but these Iron Shells are doing too much. He actually walks back? Okay. Pops is passive, but Kia says, yeah, I'm just gonna search after you, and there you go. Tunnicle's Rev comes out for the double kill across the board. Kills up the Silencer mid as well. Witch Doctor comes in, and he tried to help out his buddy here, but doesn't really seem to be working too well. Now the TP comes out, and Kia's like, oh, okay, you know, I'm just gonna take a step back here, as they're gonna kill off Luna here on bottom lane as well. Yeah. Once you get some levels into these heroes, they start doing a lot of damage. They're just being outplayed right now. Zeus, how the hell... Did you rotate in? Ah, he rotated in with haste. Okay, I wasn't watching that too good. He even gets another kill as well. Already five kills up, two assists. It's, it's already over 5k uh, net worth. Experience is gonna reach the 4 5k mark as well. First tower has been destroyed here by Kia. Mechanism is pretty much completed. <laughs> Charge coming through on Slunny. They wanna go here for cancel. Gonna put the damage in, Nether Strike comes out, pushing him back forward, Living Armor has been cast, it's already been taken off here, that's pretty dumb, pretty damn fast there, but Living Seed comes out and forcing the Dire side back again. Rotation for fucking mess, Sheena well. walks forward and East and Arc, Lightning here, doing a lot of damage together with Lightning uh, Bolt as well. It seems like Sloney is not ready to give up on this one, he wants to kill Cancel here, he is getting low, I think he might just stick down from this, oh, stick charges, he still has five of them, he will actually survive here, fucking mess. he is getting low, Cancel walks back in, doing a lot of damage in... Needs to bottle up a bit more, that doesn't really work too well, so they're gonna get actually two kills here. They're gonna return with a kill back on uh, the tree in there. Come on, White, trying to TP out, but Tunnicle's Rev comes out, keeping them there, and they just get even more. Four kills overall, all across the map. And with that, it's just the Lina, Luna, but Luna is also gonna be found here by Bone7, and that makes it a clean team wipe over the span of 30 seconds. Here for Kaipi. At least they got one kill back. 
Sonny goes in. 20 seconds for his uh, ultimate. There's not a lot of mana here on Bone, so they might just actually be able to do this one. He's trying to reason up a bit. Easy fairy fire. Strength has been popped. Oh, lucky bash one. He needs some more. They need some more. Are they able to reach him? Nether strike in three. No, commit. Go balls deep. Go balls deep. There they go. They're rushing again. There comes out the nether strike. Doing a lot of damage. At least coconut is just too strong. And now the global silence comes out. They also want to get maybe fucking met here. No. They're going to give up on him. It's Sheena who's in trouble. But Buffini might just die. He will die here in the end towards the tower. Cancel will pick up a monster kill streak already here. The game is just barely on the way and Cancel's already doing massive damage. Sloney just eats another uh, lightning and pulls here. <laughs> it's just start running away. Cancel is pretty happy here to keep on going. Having the Arcana, it's a little bit too much damage. Can you reach him? Ah. They don't want to nick, but even with the Eater Lens, it's not long enough. So, with that, they will just uh, go back and farm it all up again. Oh, and he gets the kill with Tunnicle's Rev coming from, from cooldown. And he rotated in as well and gets the kill here on Luna. Picks up another one. Triple kill for Cancel now as Koma White is also tied. <laughs> Should probably turn into a tier 1 push here on bottom tier 2 by Kia. is almost taken. They have a fortification. They might want to use it with two towers being pushed in. And they're that. 10 minutes in. Over 10k lead. It's <laughs> just rapidly <laughs> going in favor of Kaipi as, as expected to be quite honest. Yeah. These glaives. I, I this build, like I said, is not good, but at the moment it doesn't matter too much. He's already so far behind the Zeus. Just look at it. 7k. <laughs> Up to what is it? 1 or 2k on the uh, silencer. It's It's absolutely nothing. Vacuum doesn't really cancel everything, but there is the TP rotation coming in. Nightmare used to try and save him. Does he have a vac here? No, he doesn't. Wall is pretty much just wasted, but it doesn't matter too much. It will pick up another two kills anyway. Getting blocked here by Cancel. They want to get Slony here. He can charge out if he wanted to, but no, he is too late. Fiend Scripts comes out from Bathney and kills him off as well. Kia picking up a double kill here. And with that, they're going to look for more here. Bone 7 going in aggressive. And with the Gunner God's Wrath here coming out from Zeus, they pick up another kill. Oh, he's already got like... What's that, like 8 or 9 kills, I believe. Let's check real fast. It's, what, 13? Okay. So if you kill him off at the moment, it's about 1k that you get for him. Man, look at this. If they come back from this deficit, well, well played to uh, to the dire side then, but I'll doubt it. They're going to try and put a two-man gank here on bottom. Bone 7 says, and let's just turn this one around on you. Heals up a bit more. Sticks as well. She now finally walks in. Took a little bit too long. He was actually standing there for quite a bit. Not doing nothing. Now suddenly he goes down. She now taking just his burst magical damage. It's just too much. He's way too low on HP to really withstand against his Zeus. Oh, Koma White. Does he see him? Mm, he might have seen him, but he will just leave it for now. And Yule Scepter is now completed on cancel as well. He just wants to make sure that he doesn't really get uh, taken out of position by the Spear Break here. Dream Protector. He just wants this uh, tower. Not gonna give it to cancel. <laughs> They're just happy about getting some kills. <laughs> really, this is just for the players here like that you're playing against the dire side. You just wanna have some fun. You wanna say I killed a professional player. We played against them. We lost. But you know, we've played against them, and that's all there is to us, for us, and they just want to have fun. For Kaipi, it's all a bit more serious, they just need to make sure that they win the game. They should be able to do so, look at the damage from the way for me, it's just already too much, it's way too high level for them. See, they just pick up another easy double kill, Sloni now has to go back, Fiend Scrim comes out on Luna, he will go down now as well, this curse really doesn't do anything. Now, he does have a global silence, but I don't think it matters anything, there you go, doesn't even use it, we'll just die here, dominating for Bone7, as he picks up the double kill here. Luna, bot back. Can't really walk in here though. What would he do? It's you can just look at it. Do they even have? They don't even have an ultimate. Okay, there they come in. Uh, we've. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Ultimate is now being popped by Luna. Doing nice amount of damage here, but they're not really able to do them. But nice nightmare dodge there. Oh my god, Buffy, really on the point there. And now they get another kill. Bones ever goes in with the wave from Azusa. Kills it off with the lightning. He even goes in. He's trying to set up a trap here. 
I don't think they noticed this. Cancel! Oh, you cheeky bastards! But no, they <laughs> didn't! Oh, the charge for now will stop it, and the Global Silence Machine have nicely uh, done there. But he just puts himself up into the air to get off the silence, and they're gonna just go deep here. Bone 7 just stands in the base. He's gonna be able to just replicate out from there, but they're gonna get one another kill, and I don't think they will dive this one too much here. Uh, well, okay, Buffy just wants to brain step and get the kill. And with that, they just go back to taking the tower. Come on, Dyer, get those kills, get a couple, just at least kill cancel. You can do it. You can do it. Kill cancel, come on. Come on. Go for him. Just go, just go balls deep on cancel. Just get that juicy gold from him. Ignore fucking Matt. Who the hell cares about him? He doesn't have a big killing spree. Go for cancel, go away for him. Yeah, there you go. They're gonna start. Nope, stop. Shina, Mashiro, he uh, giving some love to Bone. Come on, go for the fight, don't give up, no, the damage is too real, they already kill off the witch doctor, who was way too far forward, Wall comes down on Slunny, he goes down as well, Fiend script is here on Luna, come, come White is also gonna fall here, now Sheena has to go back and hide in the well, yes, just, you need to take a little bit more steps back here, they just rush in here, look at this, <laughs> they don't care, Kia, oh, just barely low, cancel, he goes down, they did it, they killed Cancel, well, essentially Cancel killed himself, but <laughs> in the end they did get him. <laughs> uh, and with that, my coffee is uh, is done. <laughs> Lot of trash cell coming out from uh, 7k. Oh, Ethereal Blade is done by both 7. Adaptive Strike, Waveform comes out, and that's the kill on the Luna right now. Nice cats coming out around here, bouncing pretty nicely here. Witch Doctor, Ward, nope! Cancelled by the vacuum. He just got, it was the first cast of the game for him, and it didn't work out. Bone 7 goes in even more aggressive, just keeps on going. I think it will die here to the fountain eventually. There we go. But not before taking another 5 man wipe. And with that, yeah, the game is pretty much <laughs> to be quite honest, pretty much almost over. Not really a whole lot they can do against this. Kaipi just uh, a size too strong for the 3k trash, as they like to call himself. Yeah. They don't. They're not willing to GG out. They're like so far behind that it's not really gonna gonna work. Who hasn't died? They need to get a kill on Kia. Like, that, I think that should be their objective right now. Get a kill on the darks here, just so everybody has died. At least once. Have they gotten a kill on everybody here? No, it's mostly on Sinister. As seen, uh, just look at this. <sighs> These ultimates just do too much. It just doesn't work here. Just walks in, Fiend Script comes out, and he dies as well. They got a kill on every single hero here. Give Cancel this. Give him a Rampage. Nope, he goes down as well. Surprised me he didn't go for the rampage there and then just sacrifices his life, but okay, it doesn't matter too much anyway. It's not like it's over. Being serious now and just destroying the ancients. And they're gonna call GG. Maybe they want my gorm rush inwards. There we go. Sonny goes in, goes for both <laughs> but There comes the ethereal blade, just starts healing it up, Lonnie. Uh, he will go down, wave from goes through. Which talk to ultimate, they just let it cast, they don't care too much. There you go. Now they will end it. Guess that's what you call dream achieved. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Cancel. Uh. <laughs> well, and with that, it's over. I think they have their dream completed here. They were able to play against them and they had some fun doing it. It was a bit of a crush, to be honest, but I think that was to be expected before Kaipi will go into the next round. Oh, look at the brackets real fast. Which one is going to be? That's going to be uh, round of 128. It's going to be Kaipi against Forehead. I'm going to join the lobby as soon as I can. And yeah, we'll see you guys for the second game of today.